Good day and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I'm your host, the Voice of Reason. So in the ongoing coverage of the uh, civil war inside of Ethiopia, and specifically uh, the conflict in the Tigray region, uh, it would appear that the uh, Tigrayan Defense Forces uh, have proceeded to invade uh, the Amhara region. And uh, I, I'm using the term invade as a, a more or less a, a punitive invasion, an invasion that is designed uh, to force uh, the opposing force, these Amhara militias, the Ethiopian army, to uh, possibly withdraw uh, from western Tigray. Uh, but this is a significant military operation uh, that is taking place. Uh, the uh, Tigrayan defense forces uh, have proceeded uh, south towards Kobo along two accesses along this mountainous terrain, uh, was able to envelop Kobo and then actually take control of the town. Uh, current information is that uh, TDF forces, Tigrayan defense forces, are continuing to press south deeper into the Amhara region as we speak. Uh, furthermore, another operation uh, is taking place uh, towards the town of uh, Sakota, and we are trying to ascertain if in fact Sakota has fallen to the Tigrayan defense forces. Uh, the, uh, the TDF had launched uh, deep uh, penetration rage into the Amhara region during the occupation of Tigray, uh, but this is different. This is a multi-prong offensive with thousands of TDF soldiers into Amhara region. Also, the, uh, the TDF has penetrated up to 100 miles uh, into the Afar region, and uh, we are receiving reports uh, that there is uh, to grind defense forces either outside of the town or, ver or inside of the town of Logia as well. And again, these operations appear to be designed to force uh, the uh, Ethiopian army, Amhara militias, to move out of western Tigray and uh, enforce them uh, into other parts of the region, thus allowing the TDF to move into western Tigray. Now, we, we could see further operations, and, and then the question is, is, is will some of this territory uh, be returned? Uh, does the, does the uh, Tigray region have claims on some of these areas, uh, such, as, uh, such as the areas around Kobo? Uh, that's another question that, that could be sorted out later. But uh, right now, um, I, I really think in, in retrospect, if we look at how the, uh, the Tigray region was, was occupied uh, by the Ethiopian army, by these Amhara militias, and now uh, we, 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 we observe that crushing defeat of the Ethiopian army, its withdrawal, its retreat, uh, from the Tigray region, and now we are seeing a multi-prong TDF offensive into the Amhara region. And I guess the question is, is what do the TDF supply lines look like? Uh, do they have the ability uh, uh, to go even further into the Amhara region? How far are they willing to go? Is a, is a possible operation in the works to... Uh, to go all the way to Addis Ababa, I would say that is something you can't rule out. Um, I would say that it is unlikely. However, if we were discussing this scenario just three months ago, and we were to have said that the, the Tigrayan Defense Forces would have penetrated 100 miles into the Afar region and is looking to seize control of uh, the town of Logia and cut off major supply routes into Djibouti. At the same time, the town, the Amhara town of uh, Kobo has fallen and TDF forces were pushing deeper south into 
uh, the Amhara region, you probably would have completely discounted it. So, in, in retrospect, uh, saying an operation to seize control of Addis Ababa, maybe one month from now, may not see, seem nor sound so ludicrous. Anything is possible in this conflict, as we as we are absolutely seeing. But uh, the uh, the Ethiopian army, the Ethiopian state, and uh, the Amhara regional government and its militias are uh, are are suffering some serious serious setbacks. Have a good day, everybody.